Well, good morning, folks. Uh, we're at the Robert G. Wheelie State Park once again, wrapping up my trip. Uh, we have the Zeus Trail. Uh, Zeus Trail is half a mile. Let's see what this has got to offer. This is one of two trails left to do here, and Anyway, yeah, this trail's half a mile, and let's see what, what it offers. Uh, the trail behind me I just walked down was the, uh, I forgot it already, what trail are you? Huckleberry. So we're on the Huckleberry Trail, starting the Zeus Trail. Uh, I've not done anything with the Huckleberry Trail yet. I will connect back into it later. So, it will be up after this video is made. So, Zeus Trail, and I'll see what this brings. I think this is just a connecting trail. Connects over to Snakefoot. I think it's just, just a wooded hike. Connects from one trail to the other. Lovely 67 degrees right now. Here's an example I'm going to show you. You know if you get some of these clearings and then the woods ain't too thick. Trees are small. This is all rocky. Uh, the uh, Dancing Gypsy Trail, if you watch that video. Here's an example. It's all rocky. That would have been, that would be where there's a crack in between two rock cells. So there was a crack in the rock here, which allowed soil and stuff, the sediment to collect in between to allow the grass to grow. So this is all a rocky outcrop. If you explore the Snakefoot Trail too, you'll see the rocky outcrops and stuff like that. But that explains why there ain't too many big trees here. 
and of the open field. It wasn't made to be a food plot. It was made because there's nothing really can grow here. It's like maybe less than an inch layer of topsoil. But that's why you come across these lines is that's where there's a split between two rock pieces where stuff had collected to allow that to grow. So you come across a line like that. <laughs> that explains it. She's actually walking on rock right now. And yeah, there's some places where, you know, trees can grow. But here's one that didn't survive too long. That was a pretty decent sized tree. Again, it probably grew in one of those rock cracks and the roots couldn't go out anymore and they just end up dying. Life expectancy on big trees are minimal. Yeah, but it's good for these smaller ones. You know, if they get to a certain size and they die, seeing as another would have been a big tree, but they just don't, don't got the room to grow, and, you know. Oh, that's the trail. Snakefoot, main parking lot, visitor center. We have to head that way. Our next trail is up, and that's going to be our last trail for the for the entire park. So that was the Zeus Trail, and we're on Snakefoot right now. And Snakefoot is the best trail that they have to offer. Snakefoot and Dancing Gypsy. This is the Snakefoot, the back side of it, okay? It's just a straight trail through the woods. So if you would come here for the Snakefoot Trail, you want to be on the lake side. Because the back side is just the connecting trail. Straight shot through the wooded area. So, Snakefoot, you want to walk the lake side. <laughs> so, so here we are, the ZU, the blue trail, into the snake foot. Our next one is going to be the huckleberry, which is the purple one. So, we're going to hike up there, and well, that was the Zeus Trail at the Robert Wheeler State Park. Uh, again, Please leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.